readings. I'm sitting here and I'm talking to Mrs. Emma Didley, and I guess one could say that she's really like the matriarch of the organization. Uh, what made you join the NACP? Well, one of the members of Second Baptist, uh -huh. Edie Scammer. Yes, ma'am. Did you know her? I didn't know her. Well, she was a member of the NAACP. Uh huh. And she wanted to go to the meeting. Okay. And a lot of times she didn't have a way to go. Okay. And the Lord had blessed me to have a car. So you was you was willing and dealing back in 1945 then, huh? Right. You was driving. Amen. I imagine you've seen a lot of things over the years. Do you think that the NACP uh, has made a contribution, has done some things important for us as a people in this country? Well, I think we have, I said we because it is NAACP and yes, I'm a part of it. Yes, you certainly are. You are the matriarch. Uh, we have caused a lot of things to happen that was in our favor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For one thing, now I think through it we have witnessed a black president. Well, but now that you've seen it, how when you heard that he was elected, Obama, Barack Obama was elected president. What went through your spirit? How did you feel when you heard that? That he had become... President. President? Yes. What did you think? I... It went through my mind that the black race and the black... Not only the black race. Yes. The other... Everybody. They would be lifted. Mm. through the Word of God, mm -hmm. through Him. I mean, can I ask you a personal question? How old are you? Well, you, were, <laughs> you are a mathematician too, I think. <laughs> I tried to be, math wasn't my favorite subject though. Yeah, you asked me a question. <laughs> now, since <laughs> I came into the world they said, in 1905. Bless your heart. 1905. And, and each year, add up on that. Bless so So using my mathematical skills, I should figure that out. That would make you about 108 years of age. God has mightily blessed you. As, as, as I conclude, I want to ask you, there are a lot of young people that are going to be seeing this who've never met you, and they've never even been around someone who's lived as long as you have lived. You were born before the NAACP got started. I mean, what do you say to young people about what they should be doing? The young people now should listen to the gospel coming from that minister over the pulpit because sometimes in the home maybe they don't get it. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that is seek the Lord for guidance mm -hmm. that they would think the right things to do for their children and, and the children, after the parent has in, inspired them to do, follow what the parents say. Yes, ma'am. That's what I, I think. And the parents are going to have the right information mm -hmm. to give them because they're going to have already sought the Lord for guidance. Yes, ma'am. So seek the Lord where he may be found. Right. Start That's right there. Say. Right there and listen, and then go out and do something. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Bless your heart.